Hey kids, it's Mist and Fly here, hope you're well. Now the other day I had an absolute nightmare on the Panigale in that I dropped the bike. Uh, absolutely horrendous situation. Now unfortunately I haven't got any footage of me actually uh, dropping the bike, uh, but I thought I'd talk you through what happened um, and then show you the damage that I did and then maybe in some way you can perhaps learn from my mistakes. So stick around, stay tuned and I'll tell you all about my uh, Panigale drop. So the Panigale is very much my a uh, heart bike, if you like, and by that what I mean is it's not the most practical beast going, it's not the most comfortable bike I own. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense if you kind of think it through too much, uh, but it's the bike that I just love to own. It's in the garage, when I open the door and I look at it, I have a pride of ownership. I think the thing looks beautiful, I think it's just a lovely bike, and, uh, and I really, really love owning the motorcycle. And linked to that is the fact that I like to look after it, and it's, uh, you know, it's kind of the jewel in the crown of my motorcycle uh, collection, if you like, uh, if you can call four bikes a collection. And uh, so therefore, if you do any damage to it, or if I do any damage to it, it really uh, kind of upsets me. So you can imagine that uh, dropping the bike is uh, an absolute nightmare for me. So let me talk you through what happened. So it's one of those really silly situations. I just got the bike out of the garage and uh, I normally start the bike up as I put my helmet and so on, just to get the engine warm and the fluids running a bit. Uh, and it's a bit colder than usual, maybe I hadn't done that quite enough, but uh, rode off uh, out of my driveway and up the road, got to the first T-junction, which I've obviously ridden out of hundreds of times before. As I pulled out uh, and leant over, it's obviously a 90 degree turn, I was turning to the right, I uh, obviously just didn't give the bike too, uh, quite enough revs, uh, and I stalled the bike mid-corner. Um, the Panigale is not the best of bikes at slow speeds, and certainly not when it's uh, when it's cold. It could be a bit lumpy, um, and I kind of fell foul of that. I've been riding my other bikes a bit more of late, and uh, you know I was just out of uh, practice on the Panigale, I suppose. Anyway, as I turned around the corner, I stalled the bike, and of course the bike was leant right over, you know, 30 degrees or whatever, as I turned the corner, and as it stalled, it pretty much stopped dead, or I braked instinctively, and of course that meant the bike was destined to go down. Now, I had one of those sort of split fleeting thoughts as I realised I was in trouble with the bike about whether I should try and rescue it and keep the thing, you know, held up because the Panigale is not the heaviest of motorcycles. But on that very same junction, uh, years ago when I used to have my truck Tiger 1050, um, I nearly dropped that bike there when my foot, uh, I lost footing and, uh, and slipped. And uh, I actually managed to haul that bike up uh, and in doing so I damaged my wrist and ended up in hospital. So this time I thought, no, I've learned from before, I'm just going to let the bike go. So I let the bike go down, much to my horror, because I knew that uh, damage would ensue. And uh, I suppose because it was very slow, uh, and I, I guess I probably actually stopped by the time it went down, uh, I was able to sort of gently let it go down. I mean, there's no stopping it once they're over a critical angle. Uh, but down she went, uh, and I was absolutely horrified, as you can imagine. Uh, particularly as it was a busy high street, lots of cars around, lots of people saw me. No doubt all the drivers were attractive females, uh, bar the one actually that stopped to help me pick up the bike. So, I don't know, but the kindly gentleman that helped me pick the bike up and wheel it off the road, uh, I'm sort of assuming he was a biker, because he was very quick to stop, get out, make sure I was okay, which I was, I'm glad to say, uh, and help me pick the bike up. Uh, now when these things happen, you are in a bit of a state of shock, so it is quite easy to be hurt uh, and not realise that you are, but I'm very glad to say in this case I was absolutely not hurt at all, not even a bruise, um, so I got away with it in that respect. And then my next uh, bit of horror was to have a look at the bike and see what damage I'd done, so uh, let me stop up here in the pulling uh, and I'll show you, uh, show you what I've done to my baby. Okay, I'm going to try and stop up here, which is uh, just outside the Prime Minister's gaff at Chequer, so I could get moved on. Uh, I imagine standing there filming, but uh, let's see if I can get away with it. Well, these are the gates to Chequers, in case you've never seen them. And let's not drop the bike again on the gravel. Okay, let me show you what I did. So the really good news, as far as I'm concerned, is I did very little damage indeed, and that's what I wanted to show you, is the sort of remarkable resilience of the bike, really. Um, so here we are, here she is, when I, this is the side that she fell on, so I expected to pick it up and find the panels all scratched, and, uh, you know, the engine all marked, and the, you know, the 
pedals all kinked in and so on but none of that at all in fact the only damage I can find is here uh, it's the bar end as you can see a bit scraped and the end of the of the um, brake lever is scraped uh, there's a little bit of um, scuff here on the mirror don't know if you can see that but it's uh, just not a big deal it's not a big deal enough to worry about you know I've got worse on other bikes where they just sort of touch the garage wall so that's no problem and that could be replaced if need be and again these no problem so I've uh, ordered myself some new bar ends I've gone for the um, maybe it's a bit stable horse um, bolting etc but I've gone for the um, RNG crash sliders so a bit more protection a bit bigger I'll fit that soon and then these were just eBay specials um, and we're about 25 quid so I've ordered another set of these and I'll just replace that extension bit quite interesting to note that actually this is an extendable um, brake lever I've got here and what it's actually done is just pushed it into the pushed it into the most um, shortest extension if you like rather than actually going up which is what they're designed to do but anyway I'll just replace that part so that's no problem um, and again the bar and slider as I say no issue so if you look at the part so 50 quid basically and I'm all back I mean I could have done without spending 50 quid but when you consider what could have happened when you look at the panels here everything is all still lovely and spangly now I don't know whether it actually did touch down on these or not or whether it's just the shape of the bike and it clears it or whether the paint protection I've got on here is quite durable and has protected it I don't know but either way thank goodness my baby is in is in good order or will be once I've replaced these two bits relatively cheaply so yeah there we go the panny lives on right let's get back to the important thing which is riding So there we are, I'm, I'm glad to say the damage report is pretty minimal, both uh, with myself, no damage at all, really glad about that, uh, and the bike that, uh, you know, is my pride and joy, so I would have been absolutely gutted if I'd done more damage than I did, and uh, to get away with just like 50 quid uh, to fix her uh, is remarkably lucky, so anyway, I thought I'd just share that with you, I mean, it was an embarrassing incident, uh, nobody wants to do that sort of thing. I looked a right idiot, I felt an idiot, it was my pride that was damaged more than anything. But I wanted to share it with you because it's very easy to do, uh, and if you've not ever dropped your bike before, it's bound to happen at some point if you ride for long enough. Um, so it just really is a sort of learning point, when you're pulling out onto a junction with a not properly warmed up bike, just make sure you give her enough revs, because uh, if you do stall it mid-turn, she's going to go over. OK, so on that note, uh, we'll leave it for now. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Mixington Flyer. Cheerio.